So it was the home of Hawaii's monarchs. Now, Iolani Palace has become a home to something else. Yeah, bees. Hundreds, maybe thousands of them. And we're told they've been around for years. But today, things took a drastic turn when a man was stung multiple times, sending him to the hospital. Kimberly Speakman joins us with more on the story. Kimberly? Howard Bridget, we're told the man was stung on the face, the head, and the body. He was taken to the hospital in serious condition. After the attack, the palace was shut down and crews were called in to get rid of the bees. High above the ground, near the top of Iolani Palace, hundreds of bees. And this is just one of at least three hives at the royal residence. Another hive within the walls of the palace attacked a man. One guard that came out with a fire extinguisher, he emptied the extinguisher and then he brought out water, trying to shoot the bees there, but it, he was not successful. He was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Other staff and volunteers also were stung in the back lanai. If you get too close to the hive, if you get in their flight path, if you start disrupting them, that's when they'll start to get aggressive. Oishi says the palace is an unusual place for bees to be, but it can happen. What they're looking for is um, some place with a hole that, that leads to a cavity that basically can they can occupy. After the attack, crews were brought in to remove the bees. In this case, um, because the palace is historic, there's a limited amount of things that you can actually do to the structure to get the bees out. And more importantly, to create a situation where bees are not going to go back in. And crews will continue to work tonight to remove all beehives from the palace. Officials tell me they will assess the situation tonight after the work is done and make the decision to reopen or not. Back to you.